I'm going to call on Professor Francesco Giamarelli, oncologist at Lyon, um, also a nuclear physician, and also at IAEA. Francesco. Thank you. Thank you very much for your kind invitation. So I have to put some disclosure. I'm first nuclear medicine, then oncologist. And what I'm speaking about now today is not, does not reflect at all the position of IEA. You uh, asked me to speak about dosimetry, and it's a very, <laughs> and I have to be the bad guy in this. Uh, just since this was the, uh, who, who is doing dosimetry in nuclear medicine? So, very good. So, uh, this, <laughs> so I have to convince you that maybe it's not the, 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 always the best thing to do. It's not, it would not be easy. So um, I, uh, I need next slide because I, um, sorry. Yes, thank you. Again, so the first problem is that I want to um, speak with is the fact that uh, we are not at all speaking about the same thing as uh, what, where we're speaking about uh, radiation oncology. The, 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 the things are not at all the same. Next, please. Because the, in the first time, we have absorbed dose to target volume, and the, it can be precisely evaluated. Next. While, and even the physicists say that, the tumor absorbed dose cannot be really predicted for technical or practical reason. So this is the, the first, um, for tumor dose, this is very difficult to do. Next, please. And I would like to speak with, to, to talk with you and to analyze with you all the confounding factor of our discipline. Next. First is microdosimetry. Uh, we, we know, and uh, Professor Bao also said, the, the, the pathway of, um, of the uh, radiation that we uh, uh, use are not the same. And uh, the, the reason, uh, next, uh, why we speak about Monte Carlo dosimetry is not uh, by, by chance, it's really a chance. Yeah. Next. Uh, also imaging parameters, so in sometimes like uh, for iodine we have the same uh, agents, the same teranoxic agents, but it's not always the same. For instance, lutetium uh, is not the same as gallium P uh, PSMA or dotat 8 and so on. The image resolution is not very good for our discipline, this we, we all know, so the, the fact to, to interpret the image and to go to uh, mathematical parameter is not always the same. Next please. Now. Uh, again, please. The dose rate. This is, uh, on my opinion, the, the most important thing. Next. In radiation oncology, the dose is given in a blitz. Next. In nuclear medicine, the dose given by, uh, uh, clearly, I agree, completely agree, it's not it's an activity we give, but the dose is expressed in, in days, weeks. Next. So uh, I know that, uh, please. The um, one gray for external beam radiation therapy is the same as one gray of, of therapeutic nuclear medicine. This is what the physicists say. But I'm not so convinced, next, that is the same. The first is uh, Mr. Gray at 20 years, and the second is Mr. Gray at uh, 65. So it's not, I, I, I'm, I'm not so sure that we are speaking about the same unit. Next, please. And then there is also another thing that are radiobiology. radiobiology. Next. Um, the, uh, the external beam radiation therapy is as good uh, extrapolation. We can, I don't think we can give exactly the same extrapolation. Next, please. Uh, again, uh, the tissue heterogeneity. This is also very important. It's, it's fundamental for tumor. The, with this we all know. But it's also true, next, for normal tissue. And this uh, nice paper show how also spleen, testes, kidney, liver, bone marrow has different uh, heterogeneity. So we, uh, when we speak about those in normal tissue, we are also to speak about heterogeneity in this dose. Next, and this also is something new and also important, is that we, are, we have not all the same uh, mechanism of DNA repair. And, and there are some, we know that there are some populations that are specifically uh, um, weak for radiation repair. So when we are speaking about also toxicity, we have also to, th to think about this mechanism of repair. There is a great individual var variability. Next, please. So in conclusion, on my opinion, there are some errors that are valid for tumor and non-tumor, uh, not target tissue, that is tissue heterogeneity, inaccurate microdosimetry, 
poor image quality, individual variability, and extremely low long dose rate. Uh, for this, next please, we have 20 to 50% of errors for the first. Th these are uh, known and not known for the others. Uh, next please. Uh, on my opinion, therefore, in, in clinical use, and this is very important, what I'm thinking is about clinical use of dosimetry, there is a lack of prospective randomized phase, two, phase three trial. There is no clinical evidence for dosimetry to individually optimize activity. There is an imbalance between the accuracy and the complexity of the procedure. And finally, the empirical fixed activity is, on my opinion, sufficient. And this is next uh, what is proved by iodine. We use iodine, this was the first patient treated in 1945, and since then, uh, there are very um, mm, uh, attempt to do some clinical trial, and we never, we always fo follow to use fixed dose for thyroid cancer. On the other way, next, <coughs> the claims for specific dosimetry have to demonstrate that the frequency of excess toxicity and or tumor underdosing is sufficiently decreased, but clearly, and this is my last message, next, the, the dose, uh, the, the, the role of dosimetry in uh, preclinical phase is fundamental, clearly fundamental, because we have to, to be uh, sure before using a radiopharmaceutical that this has not, uh, is not harm to, for, for patients. Thank you for your patience.